This is such a great question. It very clearly has some traps. And I would know that going in because, you know, first of all, we're halfway through the section. This is the hard module. Uh, I'd start to expect there to be more traps. But also percentages on, on the SAT are notoriously heavy on trap answers. So you've got to be really careful. And I'm going to do this a slightly different way than I would do it if I, I were on my own, just to make my point. Um, it's, it's percentages, so I'm going to use what I call the open formula. Oop, open formula, okay. Now there are two versions of the open formula. There's one that looks like the word open, which is why it's called the open formula, right? OP, the E kind of is an equals, and then N. Um, there's also a version where we deal with the idea of percent decrease or increase. So that's going to mean that we change the P portion to represent a change in percent. So one plus or minus P is kind of representing the fact that the percentage has changed. And we'll know which one of these to use based on the language of the story, the language of the question. And the trick here is we're going to use both for this one question. So I'm going to show you how I would do it. Let's start at the, at the beginning. Um, they're telling me the gift shop buys souvenirs at a wholesale price of $7 each and resells them at a retail price that is 290% of the wholesale price. That of is really important. That tells me I'm going to use um, this formula on the left here because um, when we're just taking the normal percentage of something, there's no real trick. It's just you multiply by the percentage. So the O in my open formula stands for the original amount and that original they tell us is $7. The P, like I said, stands for the percent, but that is going to be as a decimal. So we have to move the decimal point. So 290% is equivalent to 2.90, right? We move the decimal. So 2.90, and that's gonna give us a new value. So in this case, very straightforward, you're just multiplying. Seven times 2.9 is uh, $20.30, okay? So that's my new amount. But then we're doing another percentage to it, right? And then the next piece says, at the end of the season, any remaining souvenirs are mar marked at a discounted price that is 80% off, Oops, didn't that work? There we go, off the retail price. Now this is where we need to use the percent change formula because it's not saying that it's 80% of the retail price. It's 80% off, we are taking 80% away so our percentage needs to reflect that. So now we're gonna use this other open formula. The new price, the new original, is $20.30, right? So that, that changes because it's, it's a new kind of situation, right? So it's not the seven anymore because now we have a new value. So the $20.30 is now the original. And from that, we're going to take off 80%. So again, I write that as a decimal in, in, part, in the P uh, portion of the formula, but notice it's not going to look like 80% in my formula. If I start to reduce this, right, 20, 30, 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0.2. So this is the trick. When we have a percent change, sometimes the percentage doesn't look like what we expect it to be, right? It, 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 the, the question, the story it tells us 80% off. But the way the math works, 80% off is really 20% on. And the math is about the percent on. We don't talk that way ever. You would never go into a store and say, oh, I have a coupon for 90% on your price. No, it's a coupon for 10% off the price, right? So the, the, the problem with percentages, the reason they're so tricky is that the language that we use in our everyday life is different from the math that we use to kind of calculate these things. So you gotta be really careful. So now I'm just gonna do a normal multiplication, $20.30 times 0.2 is $4.06. That is the final new value. That is the final answer. That's what they wanted. So this is a great story because it includes both. Really think about this one. If this, if this question bothered you or if you just are kind of new to this open formula idea, you might want to bookmark this video because you can come back to this and get kind of the whole lesson in one, right? Just to recap, we did the original kind of basic open formula uh, taking a normal percentage because they wanted a percent of something, of, okay? So that's just normal multiplication for most cases. If they want a change in percentage, right? 80% in this case off. Could have been the other way. Could have said they want a 10% tax 
right? So in that case, that's also a change in percentage. We're adding on 10%. So we're gonna still use the formula with the plus or minus because it's a change in percentage. And in those cases, the percentage is gonna look a little different when we actually do the math than it did when we read it out of the story. But because percentages are also all about multiplication, what I would have done if I were doing this question myself during a test is I would have done all this at once. I would have taken my original, which is $7. I would have known to multiply it by 290%. And at the same time, I also know 20% off or 80% off is going to be another 20%. So I can do both percentages at once. And so if you want to follow me and trust me here, uh, 7 times 2.9 times 0.2 is still $4.06. So percentages do kind of work together in nice ways, but for the sake of really explaining how these formulas work, um, I wanted to show you them separately. But yes, in this case, you could do them together. In most cases, you could do them together, even if they're different percentages. The key is you just gotta make sure that you capture that percentage the right way, either as uh, just a standard percentage or as a change in percentage using this one plus or minus P, that's how the SAT gets us, is they want us to confuse those situations. And if you do, you're gonna get the wrong answer.